Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video of finding the derivative of arc sine. Today I will be working with the uh, derivative of arc cosine. I hope you guys enjoy. So, like I said last time, I'm going to be using this trigonometric thing, uh, the thing again, uh, the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x equals to 1. So, I'm going to use it again and let's see what happens. My question so is we need to find the dy dx of the arc cosine of x. Alright, so let's keep working. Okay, now we know that now we're going to follow the same step like we did the other time, uh, like I did the other time was uh, I said let y equals to arc cos of x. Now we, go, uh, now we are going to take the cosine from both sides, so we're going to say cos of y equals cos of our cos of x. See, now we know that these two right here, they cancel with each other, so we end up having cos of y equals just plain x. Okay, so now we need to find the derivative. Uh, we're going to use the chain rule because we need to uh, find the derivative with respect to to x, to x, not to y. So we are going to say the derivative of the uh, the inverse so will be just dy dx times the derivative of the outside will be negative. Uh, sine of y and everything is going to be equals to the derivative of x is just plain one okay now we need to leave this part alone the dy dx we need it to be alone so we're going to divide everything by negative sign so at the end we're going to have dy dx equals 1 divided by, uh, let me transpose that negative on top here, divided by sine of y. Alright, so pretty much this is the derivative of the r cosine, but there's a little problem like the other time you have y. So we're going to use our trigonometry equation to find sine, so but on this case we're not going to use the x value so I'm going to change this a little bit to my y value and we know that uh, going in this direction we're going to have like sine sine of sine square of y is equals to the 1 minus uh, cosine cosine square cos square of y. Now we're going to take the roof of both sides. Uh, now we're going to end in having sine y equals 1 minus cos square y. Okay, knowing this, uh, now we know that sine y, now we can plug everything back to our uh, derivative, so we're going to have dy dx is equals to negative 1 divided by, now we know that our sine of y is equals to this, sine of y is equals to this, now we have 1 minus cosine of y. Okay, we're pretty much done. Uh, so, but we still have a y, but we know our cosine 
cos of y is just equals x. So I'm going to replace everything by x, uh, what cosine is. So we have going to have dy dx is equals to negative 1 divided by the root of a 1 minus, and we know cosine is just x. We're going to put x here, and we're going to square it. And there we have it. The derivative of arc cosine. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll do the derivative of arc sine on my next video. Thanks for watching once again.